Good morning, everybody. It's the Savage Stacker. First and foremost, I'd like to say thank you for everybody coming by my YouTube channel. And um, I've got a couple of things I'm going to talk about here. Um, answer some questions. I've been getting a lot of questions on my on my channel by new new stackers, new people out there. So uh, let's dive into this real quick. The first questions I've been getting from a lot of new stackers is where to buy precious metals. And I've answered back a few people, given my list of the places that I like to buy precious metals from. Um, but, you know, that's, that's kind of my personal preference. And I will give you that list down in the, in the description down below. Um, after this video, you can go check it out or, you know, you can check it out now if you want. Um, so I'll put that. Sorry about that. My alarm went off and it stops my video. It drives me crazy when I forget to tear, turn that off. Okay, so the places that I like to buy precious metals are first and foremost, I like to go to my coin shop. Um, what's funny is lately he hasn't had any metals at all. Nobody's selling, the price is too low, right? Everybody's in accumulation mode and People are, are, are buying metals right now and they're not really selling them. And 90% and of his silver and his gold that he gets in are from walk-ins. So I haven't been buying metals from him lately. I've been buying them from online reputable dealers. And there is a list, and I will put it down in, in the description of those reputable dealers. So the first place that I like to get my metals from is Monument Metals. Monument Metals has usually the cheapest prices, best deals, and their shipping is fairly decent. Um, anything over $199 is free shipping. So that's pretty cool. And uh, second place I like to go to is SD Bullion. And also, I like to go to Hero Bullion. And then lately, Bold Precious Metals has been having a lot of uh, good sales as well. So let me run you through that list real quick. That's Monument Metals, SD Bullion, and um, Hero Bullion and bold precious metals. And I'll put those lists down in, in the description. All right, let's uh, talk a little bit about some things here. Um, I am not only a silver stacker, but I stack a lot of gold. And recently, I know I've been making a lot of silver videos, and that's because Silver has been on sale compared to what it was in the last couple of years. So I've been stacking it up and uh, I would like to trade later on to the gold and silver ratio once it gets back down to 60, 65, 70 even and trade silver for more gold. And um, because gold's just lighter, it's more value in a smaller package and um, that's just kind of how I like to keep my stacking going. But so I'm using most of my silver, except for a lot of stuff I don't want to get rid of, like this stuff here. Um, a lot of that generic stuff, I mean, is either for selling or for trading for the only gold and silver ratio to get more of this good stuff right here, right? And because um, I'm running out of room for my silver. And I pulled out some of my older stuff that I've had for a few years here. Um, some of my, you know, Johnson Matthews stuff and Englehart and stuff like that. Um, stuff I'm not going to ever probably get rid of, at least for a long time. Um, so, uh, yeah, I'm buying a lot of silver right now to be able to trade later on on the silver, gold to silver ratio. And that's kind of what I've been doing is stacking up a lot of silver. Um, but I will be going back to gold here in the near future. And um, just because I'm running out of room to store my, my silver. And uh, I'm on to my third 
box that I bought from Harbor Freight and uh, it's already almost pretty full and it's just it's becoming a burden and um, I know it's a good burden to have but it's becoming a burden it's heavy and if there's ever a fire and I'm not here you know that's a lot of weight my wife and children are gonna have to try to get out of the house so kind of hard to uh, deal with that stuff all right so um, other questions I've been getting on my channel lately is like people have been asking like what kind of silver to buy what kind of gold to buy and that has changed for me recently um, you know I, I, I only buy usually gold coins not really bars or anything when it comes to gold maples eagles buffaloes um, some pre-33 stuff not much because it, the price has gone up on it so much it used to be used that was if you got gold at spot it used to be the pre-33 stuff like this and that's that would be uh what you got on your spot deals but you, you know it, now pre-33 is expensive i mean this right here it's pretty much a quarter ounce but it's a it's a five dollar uh, gold piece and it's I got that for like 450. Now these five dollar gold pieces are like 650, 600, 650. They're, they're, the premiums on them are ridiculous. So I'm kind of staying away from that and just buying. And I like to buy one ounce at a time because I beat the premium, which means I get the return on my money back super fast. And some of the premiums on gold right now are like fifty dollars, sixty dollars, seventy dollars over spot, which is great. And uh, with silver, I like to stack. 10 ounce bars and also you know the one ounce rounds um just because it's the cheapest the cheapest over spot 10 ounce bars are easy to stack up they're easy to store um and i like them it just feels like you have a hefty chunk of silver in your hand now the five ounce bars they're not that bad they're they're great they're a good size they're uh, they are a nice good size um but i do prefer the 10 ounce bar over the five ounce bar if I can just because I get a better price point over spot all right well I hope that answers a couple questions I've been getting a lot of new stackers on here people that just that people that haven't even bought any uh, or purchased any silver and gold yet and I got questions like should I buy a 500 box 500 dollar box of uh of halves of uh and I'm like okay is that 500 dollar box of halves from the bank because that's not silver Right, so I'm not positive what people know, what they don't know. So I would refer you to the, you know, the bullion companies, even Atmex. Atmex has got a lot of good um, information on there, and they got a lot of variety. They are very overpriced compared to these other places that I like. Um, Monument Metal seems to be my go-to, but. You know, most of these places, these smaller bullion companies, they don't have the inventory that Admix has. So if you just want to learn about stuff and read about different rounds and, and different kinds of silver and gold, I would go to Admix and just search their site and read it. And you can find out a lot of good information. Um, so let's run through that one more time. We've got Monument Metals, SD Bullion, Hero Bullion, Bold Precious Metals, Precious Metals, and um, and Atmex. Atmex is a great place for variety and for information. And uh, but they are overpriced, but they get your metals to you very fast and secure. So they are a decent company. They're the largest company in the world, and um, they do okay. But they are overpriced. They kind of set the stage, set the market for you know everything else. All right, so. Thank you, everybody, for coming by. It is the Savage Stacker. If you wouldn't mind, hit that bell icon so you get updated on my latest videos. Please give me a thumbs up. It helps beat the algorithm, get the videos out there, and uh, subscribe. Almost that's 3,000 subscribers. I want to thank you, everybody, for coming by and watching my last few videos. I truly appreciate the time and, uh, and uh, your comments. And I'm trying to get to all of them, but I've been getting a lot of comments lately, and it's hard. I'm working 12-hour days 
waking up really early and working and getting home and family time and all that. I'm trying to answer a few of them and I'm getting to it, but but I'm getting a lot of comments and it's hard to answer them all. And I, I try to give people a, a unique comment or answer back their questions. So it takes a while. It's not a, just a generic reply, thank you, or appreciate it, you know, which I do too on some people that just leave a basic comment. But some people have big questions and I can't answer them all. And I uh, apologize for that. Um, I'm, I'm very busy working really hard and uh, and um, just been, you know, my time has been very, uh, I don't have much extra time. So, uh, so I've been trying to do the best I can. All right. Thank you, everybody, for coming by. I really, really, tr- truly appreciate your time. And um, thanks again. All right. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. The Savage Stacker is over and out.